Pilots and Series that represent the next generation of showrunners and TV talent. So this week, an international community of writers, creators, directors, producers, actors, and executives will gather in Duluth for the Catalyst Content Festival. So here with us this morning to talk about the festivities is the Executive Director, Philip Gilpin. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me. So, of course, so there's a lot to unpack, uh, formerly known as the ITV Fest. So what can people expect to experience this week? Yeah, so with Catalyst, there are going to be about a thousand people coming in from around the world. A lot of them are executives, agents, and producers, and then you have a lot of content creators. And the point of this is people are now making high-quality, independent television and narrative projects. Mm. Just like people have been making high-quality independent film for decades and going to places like Sundance and Tribeca and others, right. people that are now making high-quality independent narratives need a place to go to mm -hmm. where they can meet each other from and other creators and producers from around the world to show their, show their projects and, and you know, advance their careers. Right. So, uh, you know, there's a new name, so there's also this new location. So how did that decision come to be picking out Duluth out of everywhere in the world? Yeah, so the Catalyst started as ITV Fest in mm -hmm. L.A. in 2006. It spent seven years there, and then we decided we wanted to leave the big city to find a small-town atmosphere. So we moved east coast. We went to Vermont for six years. Mm -hmm. And after six years there, we started to realize the organization was growing beyond a five-day festival. There were starting to be educational opportunities year-round. There were professional development opportunities. There were people that had been attending the festival who were asking, us, can I live, work, and shoot here and bring my next project here? And some of these projects can be worth millions of dollars in ec local economic activity and revenue. And so as the organization grew, we wanted to keep that small town vibe for the festival week, mm -hmm. but we wanted to find a town that had the arts at its center. And so we went on a hunt across the northern U.S. to mm -hmm. find a charming small town that had big city infrastructure like airports yeah. and hotels and restaurants, but had a small town arts community vibe. And here we are in Duluth. Yeah, that, that's, you know, that's Duluth to a T. Because when I first moved here, I said, you know, it's big enough that it doesn't feel small enough. Yeah. You know, so that's exactly. great. So this event is not only great for the arts, but it's also beneficial for the community. So what kinds of opportunities are there for local people? Yeah, so during the festival week itself, people should come out, buy some tickets to watch the shows, meet the people throughout the days. Uh, in order to screen at the festival, we, we require that you are physically present. Okay. So you're actually going to meet the people that you're seeing on screen and who are creating the projects you're seeing on screen. It's really exciting. It's just a great group of people from around the world, yeah. uh, very high energy, very artistic, and very, uh, you know, very Duluth-minded in terms of wanting to find a place where they can live, work, and be artists year-round. Mm. And I think that's why they're going to fit so well here and why Duluth's going to embrace them and welcome right. them so much. And then after the festival, there are going to be a lot of professional development opportunities and community events start to start talking about how can we take the people that visited for the festival mm -hmm. and have their projects. Because remember, all these people are going to be creating future projects. Mm -hmm. And some of these projects might be small, some of them might be very large. And the question for Duluth is, how many of these projects and how much of that money do we keep here after they've come here and already fallen in love with Duluth? So it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Yeah. First one, come out and have a good time at the festival. Secondly, come out and say welcome home and, right. and let these creators know that their, their creative you know, ambitions and projects are welcome here in Duluth in the right. future. Yeah, we are a very welcoming community. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We appreciate it. So for those who would like to go, uh, the Catalyst Content Festival starts on Wednesday, October 9th through the 13th. There will be screenings, panels, workshop meetings, parties, and a lot more. So for ticket in a full schedule, you can head on over to CatalystContent.com. We'll have all of those links posted on our website. Well, we're keeping a close eye on the shipping for the day.